আসসালামু আলাইকুম শুভ সন্ধ্যা এটিএন বাংলা ইউকের এখনকার আয়োজন এডুকেশন আওয়ারে আপনাদেরকে স্বাগত আমি সিরাজুল বাসিদ চৌধুরী আপনাদেরকে শুভেচ্ছা জানাচ্ছি আমরা চলে আসলাম একটা নতুন টপিক নিয়ে কথা বলার জন্য আপনাদের সাথে আমাদের আজকের টপিক ফেস্টিভ্যালস রিলিজিয়ানস অ্যান্ড কমিউনিটি কোহিশন আপনারা জানেন আজ টোয়েন্টি ফোর্থ অফ ডিসেম্বর ক্রিসমাস ইভ আগামীকাল ক্রিসমাস আমরা বলে থাকি বাংলায় বড় দিন তারই প্রাক্ষালে আমরা নিয়ে এসেছি চারজন ব্রিটিশ বাংলাদেশি স্টুডেন্টস তাদের সাথে কথা বলার জন্য তো আমাদের টপিকটা হবে ফেস্টিভ্যালস নিয়ে কথাবার্তা কমিউনিটি কোহিশন নিয়ে কথাবার্তা এবং পাশাপাশি আমরা রিলিজিয়ান্স এবং ব্রিটিশ ভ্যালিউ নিয়েও আমরা কথা বলবো আমাদের স্টুডেন্টরা এখানে এসেছে ওরা কিছু পারফর্মও করবে আমরা আশা করবো আপনারা এনজয় করবেন যেহেতু ফেস্টিভ সিজন তো আপনারা আশা আপনাদের কাছে আশা করবেন ফোন কল করবেন ওদেরকে এনকারেজ করবেন এবং পাশাপাশি আপনাদের কোনো মন্তব্য কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকলে আপনারা করবেন তো আসুন তাহলে পরিচিত হই আমাদের সম্মানিত চারজন ব্রিটিশ বাংলাদেশি ইয়াং স্টুডেন্টদের সাথে অন মাই রাইট ফার রাইট ভেরি নোন ফ্যাশন প্রপা রেজওয়ানা আনোয়ার ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম হাও ইউ প্রপা থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফর কামিং অ্যান্ড গিভিং দিস আই এম ফাইন থ্যাংক ইউ অ্যান্ড ইউর গুড টাইম হিয়ার ইন এটিএন বাংলা থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ অন মাই রাইট ইফাত চৌধুরী অ্যান্ড আদার স্টুডেন্ট অ্যালেবল স্টুডেন্টস ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম হাও ইউ ফাত I am fine thank you and thank you very much for coming. Or well, you are in year 10 now 10 this year. That's right. Absolutely. On my left here just next to me who has been traveling for far because who studies at Manchester University and three and a half hour journey he straight came from the station to the studio. So Fadi Prashid assalamu alaikum and good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Welcome to the program. Welcome. And I'm very delighted to have you in our program. <laughs> Thank you. And on my far right, very known face. Everybody knows him very, very well. Very young person. Cultural activist, student. And we like him very much. Sayyad Nishat Mansur. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you, Nishat? I'm very well. Thank you very much. I know you've been very, very busy. And thank you very much. This time you no, just I'm made very, it. I'm looking forward to this program. Thank yeah. you very much. Welcome. So our topic today, festivals, religions, community cohesions, British value. We'll talk about this. But before that, can I ask all of you about first of all what are you currently doing study job and other involvement proper how is it going so, um, at the moment i'm studying well i've started studying for my gcse's good so um i've taken a total of 12 subjects i did bangla last year but i've got another 11 to go right. so that's my kind of main focus but side by side i'm kind of singing and doing other cultural and some charity activities as well excellent we'll talk more about charity maybe yes a good yes. time anything else and what about your culture um, you usually do a lot of culture well, that's also something that i'm quite interested in so for example i go to central ambulance cadets where we sometimes we go to big events like football matches and we do hands on first aid practice and i find it quite enjoyable okay we will listen more as well now i'll go to nishat nishat what are you doing currently i know you've been busy with so many different yeah, things here from you it's a very very busy time at the moment in my life definitely um at the moment Uh, in terms of core i'm still in university second year studying computer science at queen mm-hmm. mary uh, also i work um saturdays sundays i work for o2 so uh, i'm i'm working at the moment keeping myself you know busy trying to ke- keep myself um you know doing stuff active over the weekend also like along with all of that i still keep up my music as you know so doing my doing my diploma in um bengali music excellent so so many things you are doing yeah. alongside your study your cultural show cultural program your involved being as well as practicing your music yeah. and and the job as well part time yeah, yeah working part time it's very yeah, busy at the cool. moment that's why you know it's uh, it's so hard to keep up with everything but in the end obviously but at least a good be more responsibility on board yeah everything. that's what i think what is be more responsible excellent ifat what are you doing oh uh, well i'm in my first year of sixth form um i just started year 12 so i just finished my gcsc so mm-hmm. it was um, it's a bit of a challenging year for me mm-hmm. i guess but um my main focus is um obviously my a levels but um, on the side i've been doing my uh, my drama my musical theater and my music as well cuz i'm i play keyboard and do vocals so um i'll be keeping up with my hobbies as well as you know my academic side so this is great mm. that's very good and farib finally mm-hmm. to you Oh, okay. 
What are you doing and currently about your study or anything alongside your um, study? Yeah, I'm a third year optometry student mm -hmm. at the University of You're Manchester. You're in third year, third year, yeah. Oh, that's good. So yeah. maybe a year to finish. Or? Uh, yeah, uh, after this I've got a, a final year of uh, placement mm -hmm. mm, and I feel like I'm uh, qualified. Okay. And um, I also work for Old Trafford, um, like at part -time. Manchester, yeah, part-time. So do you miss your family when you're away from the fam from your family? Uh, yeah, I do, I do come to London like probably every month or, every month or so, oh, that's good. just for a weekend. Weekend. Mm. Are you enjoying your study? Uh, yeah, it's getting harder though. Okay. <laughs> Fine. It's very, very good. Mm. Now, proper, I'll go back to you again. Yes. So, I know 2014, we are leaving behind, just a few days' time. Yes. So, tell us about your significant moments in year 2014, and particularly, I would like to say it can be education, it can be any kind of success, or maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to hear frustration that much. <laughs> would be good to share everything, <laughs> no. and any kind of highlights, anything particular. Okay, so in 2014, one of my biggest, I would say, challenges, but also something that I find I found quite useful and enjoyable was my Bangla GCSE, because it was a way of learning more about the culture of Bangladesh, which obviously I'm quite interested in. And um, so I had to go to school quite far away <coughs> to do it, because my school didn't do it. And it was quite an experience, because obviously my GCSEs are quite a while away. They're still in 2016, but it was... It was quite interesting to have that experience of doing a GCSE and all of that. And um, in school as well, I've been quite involved in the music. Good. So we've had some really big concerts recently, and they've been quite fun. And my cousins recently had a baby. Oh, so that was, that was a really big highlight. And in fact, I've just visited the baby. So that was really, really good. Wow. Nice to hear that. Fadi. What are the highlights of the year for yourself? And maybe something you can share with us. I mean, something you feel like sharing with us. Um, well, my highlight of the year, I guess, uh, my grand uh, visit from Bangladesh to, uh, Great. to us. Great, news. Uh, this year she's been elected as an MP in Chittagong. Wow. And I think she's been on this she show. Been well. here, yeah, she's been here, she's been on this That's show. Right. So it's good to see her and good to like, you know, emphasize the fact that you know, she's, got, she's gone far in Bangladesh. Anything That's else good. you can think of? We are leaving behind this 2014 few days time. Anything significant? Anything? Any memories? Any memorable event? I know mm -hmm. you mentioned about this. Anything else? You can um, can't really think of anything <laughs> other than that. Very good. Ifat, okay, what are your moments? I mean, you are leaving behind maybe many, many. I don't know how yeah. many. So anything memorable you can share with us? Any I highlights? I think the day I got my GCSE results, because that was, because um, I know the day I finished my um, exams was, it was it was tiring because I was just really reluctant to hear the result. But once I got my result, I could relax. But then our teacher kind of burst our bubble saying, okay, now you have to work hard for A level. So it's it was kind of like a turning point almost. And um, also this year I got, um, I this was my third year working with BBC School News Report. Right. So, um, so we, our school does a school Oscar every year. So it's my third year winning mm -hmm. one. Um, yeah, so that was um, that was a highlight as well. So oh. those two. That's very really good. Yeah. And Nishat Mansur, Nishat, what were the your sort of kind of highlights or any memorable events you are leaving if behind? If we talk about, if I can go for every single one in 2014, then we'd, we'd, we'd be here for a very long time. But um, in terms of significant, um, I went to Sharm El Sheikh. Uh, in, in January, there's so many things that we did. I feel like every year it's a kind of new, like I, I kind of mature a little bit more. I learned so many more things. Uh, in terms of music, what I found uh, significant to be in 2014 is um, I actually got to sing with Jay Sean and um, get like a, he he came to Queen Mary. Uh, I got to sing on stage with him. Uh, I got to meet him. I got to you know he follows me now on like my Instagram, my Twitter. I got in touch with him. And I felt like I was kind of like a, there's a big step in the direction that I want to take in terms of um, with my music and whatnot. So that was quite a significant thing, definitely. Wow, that's great. Today we have chosen this particular topic, uh, festivals, religions and community cohesion alongside British values. I know both of you have guitars as well as we like to hear some performances from you lot. But before that, we'll go to some serious um, talk <laughs> and then maybe we'll go some fun activities afterward. So if I to you. <coughs> or for all of you, can I, I'm going to quote some of the quotations from uh, Education Authority. Because a, this particular show is about education, so I have got something about education here. The recent years, there are problems regarding an issue, particularly in some schools in this country, by Education Authority, what happened, they call it Trojan, sorry, Trojan Horse School. It's a particular uh, myth, a great myth, you know, they use this. I mean, it's a long story anyway. 
the scandal in which the Islamist influence found at some Birmingham, sorry, institutions in Birmingham. Okay, what happened? The Prime Minister's comments follow the controversy of the Trojan Horse School scandal in which the Islamist influence found at some institution, as I mentioned that, in Birmingham, led to Education Authority, uh, Education Secretary Michael Gove that time, telling teachers that they must actively promote British values. So the government is talking about the British values. I know we talked about religions, we talked about festivals, we talked about community cohesion. So according to you, what do you think? What is your opinion? What, is, what are the British values and what do you understand by this? British values. I think British values. Um, I I'm think just it's asking what for your opinion. Yeah. Okay. Fine. In my opinion, I think that it's everything that this country has accomplished, or how much this country has evolved in, you know, the last century, the centuries before. Um, how now we have, you know, the, um, civil rights, and we have like human rights, you know, like freedom of speech. Good. And you know how um, how the how um, the role of women has changed over the year, mm -hmm. like over the century. No, no, not even centuries, decades even. Yeah. Um, like the women's votes and stuff. So stuff like that, I think, really pinnacle moments of how this country has evolved in terms of you know how we go on as a society. So I think British values, just freedom, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of movement, you know, the right to, you know, right to life, right to, you know, right to have a good health, almost. So excellent, stuff, well said. Stuff that's like that. that's yeah. very good. As this country is a multicultural society. And this, in this society, there are six major religions in the world. And there are many, many other hundreds of religions. People that believe in religion, people don't believe in religion. And also there are atheists, humanists. People believe in a lot of different things, as you know, in the society. Now, so my question to maybe Nishat, if you would, would you like to yeah. respond to this. What do you understand if you want to promote British values? What do you understand by British values? Or how do you promote that? Basically, for me, um, as, a, as a person, living in the UK, I've got an uh, identity is a very, very big issue. So identity, I would say, for myself personally, I know I'm a, I'm a few things. I am uh, a Bangladeshi, I am a Muslim, mm -hmm. but also I'm a British. Mm -hmm. Whether I, like, There's no denying it, they're the three things that I am, I'd put myself together. Now. So I feel like it should, we should have a, very, like, a balance of everything. We should, be, um, we should accept the fact that we are, you know, we are British, we are Bangladeshi, we are Muslim. So it's just about what you are, about identity. Absolutely. I mean, identity, obviously, and mm -hmm. if I'd mentioned as in the society, we are living side by side. Yeah. So we are doing a lot of things, our normal, I mean, like a everyday life, like respecting each other, freedom of speech, yeah? Giving, sort of, showing respect towards your neighbors. Of course. Or people who are living in the society, we live side by side in harmony. Mm -hmm. That yeah. can be beautiful. About maintaining respect. <coughs> With Absolutely. With everyone, Absolutely. So whatever Prime Minister or Education Secretary takes, more or less, we are doing in this country, isn't mm -hmm. it? And I have got further comment. Maybe I can go to Prapa or you, you can respond if you want to, or yes. Ifat or yes. Nishat. Okay. Further comments by Prime Minister is coming now. I need further okay. comment. I'm going to quote a quotation that was published on Sunday Mail, 15th of June, by Prime Minister David Cameron. He said he wanted to use the 800th anniversary of Magna Carta, that time uh, in like 2012 uh, 12 and 1215 12 12 12 as a particular uh, law that passed that time. There was a story behind that, the fundamental right for people, justice for people, that kind of freedom of speech that time as well. So a year from today is an opportunity for every child to learn about the sorry, foundation of our law and principles in this country. Now, the Prime Minister said that a genuine liberal country believes in certain values, actively promotes them, and says to its citizen, this is what defines us as a society. He also said, believes in freedom, tolerance of others, accepting personal and social responsibility, respecting and upholding the rule of law, are the British, sorry, are as British as the Union flag, football, and fish and chips. Hmm. So as you can <laughs> see, Prime Minister kind of so, proper, would you so, like to make so he's comment? basically saying that all those values are part of being British, which I totally agree with because whoever we are, like we're British Bangladeshi, but there's other people who are British something else. But even they are British and they're following these same principles. Absolutely. And it's making them British and it's making everyone better people because when we follow the rules, we end up with a better yes. society. And if you live in a society, obviously you have to follow the rules. Yeah. You, have to, you should have freedom of mm. speech and right. Yeah. What do you think? 
Uh, well, I've lived in uh, Holland for like 14 years. Like yes. I was three months old when I moved there. And um, well, I find like compa if I compare it to the UK, um, like for example, in uh, in Holland, like uh, Eid is not they don't celebrate Eid, so there's no national holiday for Eid. Oh. Or any well, compared to the UK, you got everyone's got everyone gets a holiday for Eid. So if, say for example, back in the day when um, in primary school when I started fasting, so I was obviously meant to take a day off for Eid, but in school I wasn't allowed, so I had to like pretend yes. I was ill. But or something here like they're that. respecting. I yeah, mean, some exactly. in this country mm -hmm. where more Muslims are there, the school completely officially shut yeah. down. But some schools, they will let you take authorized holiday. Sorry, Nishab. As you say, um, if we look at the bigger picture, what is being British? Now, for me, I don't know what, what we're going to agree on, but for me, being British is there's loads of things. For example, <coughs> like um, Far uh, Fardik was mentioning before, celebrating Eid, celebrating. It's not just about, obviously, we've got, uh, you know, we've got Christmas holiday, we've got Eid. But as a whole, because the Br Britain is not just made up of British people, it's made up of so many different Cultures, cultures, so many different religions. So the fact is, we've got to basically, we've got that tolerance and respect around everyone. Mm -hmm. So that, in essence, makes us British as well. That is, that's a British value in itself, I, I believe. Being tolerant towards every single person. So I could be, you know, um, I'm, I'm a Muslim, but I've got a Hindu friend. He's going to celebrate his, uh, his religious holiday. I respect him for that. He, uh, he's going to respect me for, um, you know, celebrating my religious holiday. So I think just having that mutual respect and tolerance around people is a British thing in itself because if you compare it to other countries, uh, not, not, not name it, like not going to say like, oh yeah, um, it's, it's not there, but it's a lot more vivid and a lot more, um, it's displayed a lot more in England and, and Britain. Absolutely, and we believe that. Mm. Can I just add that? Um, um, yeah, adding to your point, it's about like accepting, having, having that thing where you accept and different accept people. Yes. Yeah, accept different people. And then it, at the end of the day, it makes you a better person because you've accepted all these different people. You respect them, and therefore you become a better person. Your character building by meeting different people day by day. This yep. this social segregation and accepting all these other cultures has actually increased over the year, which is a really good thing. So this good British thing has been increasing, and it's been increasing so much that the geography curriculum has actually changed because of this. So we used to learn more about human geography and earth geography. And this year in geography, I've been studying about the number of Bangladeshi people living in East London and stuff like that. So that means that we're accepting more and the cohesion's increasing, which means that we're more accepting. Excellent. Of Everyone's broadening their minds. So. Yeah. Absolutely. I know you're talking about a very serious issues now. We yeah. started with a nice thing. Now we'd like to enjoy a little bit. We'll go to break in three minutes' time. But before that, we'd like to hear any performance. I know it's a festive season mm -hmm. from any of you. Who would like to maybe proper? I'll let proper go first. Uh, <laughs> anything English, Bengali, we don't mind at all. Okay, so um, this song that I'm going to sing today, it's um, a song that I originally sang at a school concert. And so, yeah, I'm just going to give it a go. Please. So lately, been wondering who will be there to take my place when I'm gone. You'll need love to light those shadows on your face. If a greater wave shall fall, oh, it shall fall upon us all. Then between the sand and stone, could you make it on your own? If I could, then I would. I'd go wherever you will go, way up high or down low. I'll go where. And maybe I'll find out a way to make it back someday To watch you, to guide you through the darkest of your days If a great wave shall fall, oh it shall fall upon us all Then I hope there's someone out there who will bring me back to if I could, then I would I'd go wherever you will go Way up high or down low I'll go wherever you will go Run away with my heart Run away with my hope Run away with my love I know now just quite 
hate how my life and love may still go on in your heart, in your mind. I'll stay with you for all of time. If I could, then I would. I'd go wherever you will go, way up high or down low. I'll go wherever you will go. Wow. Thank you very much. We could go to a short break now and we'll be back soon. Shubhra Darshak, Program A Purja, I'm going to talk to you about our future. I'm going to talk to you about our future. दर्शक बीरतीर पौरा वाले जुकेशन आवारे। हमारा कथा बोल चाहिए हमारे आज के टॉपिक फेस्टिवल्स, रिलिजन्स एंड कम्युनिटी का हिस्सा नहीं। मंग पाशा पश्चिम में ब्रिटिश वैल्यूज नियम कथा बोलते सी। अपना अपने इसके आगे हमने बोले चीफ फर्स्ट सेगमेंट है। हमारे साथ चार जो नोटी थी। प्रोपा रजोना � now you are in third year you said that so how many year courses you are doing like honors uh, two, so three it's years a, it's, a, yeah, it's a bsc so, so uh, three years it's three years and then one year of uh, pre-registration so okay. placement so after and a year you're going to complete your yeah, yeah. graduation mm -hmm. so what do would you like to do in the future um, after your in the future i'm not too sure i might like do a phd or uh, do another degree so, so you want to continue your study yeah, may maybe or a job uh, well Straight away. I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure that I haven't decided yet, but I would like to. Maybe I like if um, w by the time I graduate, I might I might study, uh, continue my study, okay. or for uh, I was thinking about uh, for a period of time I might go to Bangladesh and like treat people there. Okay. Because I was born there, so I should pay some <laughs> pay some respect back as well. Oh, thank you very mm -hmm. much uh, for that particular feeling. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you speak in Bengali? Yeah, yeah. You do. can. Mm. Bangladesh, you uh, last kohon gye chila. Char bochor. Char bochor. Char bochor. Shabshu beshi enjoy karo chua. Ami jani tumar janmo hoche Bangladesh, you may have to do it for a but obviously, you were young, right? So, what did you think about Bangladesh? My name is Abu, and I was born in 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 Abu. Did you have a good job? I was born in Abu, and I was born in Abu. So, you left the country when you were very young. So, obviously, you lost that kind of tie, isn't it? So, do you think it's important for a person like you, or Prapa, Ifat, and Nishat, to visit Bangladesh yeah, now yeah. and then to mm. have a tie and good bond with mm. Bangladesh. Yeah, why, do you think, why do you think it's that? important to visit your roots where you come from? Right. And of course, <laughs> and uh, it's also to be aware, like you know, um, uh, what what co you know, culture, increase your cultural awareness, mm. and and see your family as well, mm. and see what kind of like you know environment your family has like lived in. Absolutely. See the struggles, maybe. Absolutely proper. I know you are in year 10 now, obviously long way to go to finish your college, university, I know, but you have definitely have a very fantastic uh, aspiration for the future. So what is your aim in life? What would you like to do in the future? So um, I'd like to study medicine in the future, so I'd like to right. be a doctor. So that's why in preparation... So are you going to go, uh, do triple science then? Sorry? Triple science? Yes, I'm doing triple science. So definitely you are good in science, are you? I try. Try. Okay. <coughs> I, I enjoy science. Yes. So, um, in preparation for being a doctor from the age of, well, five, at the time I didn't really understand much, but I've been taking part in some first aid clubs. And also, um, because my mum's a doctor, she's been a huge inspiration for me. So often if I'm ill and she gives me some kind of medicine, she'll explain the science behind it and she'll say, if a doctor, you, you will need to know this. So um, I've been reading a lot of science books and I've been doing first aid and my mum's also been inspiring me a lot. And science mm. at school is also mm. something I really enjoy all three sciences. So, yeah, I'd like to be a doctor and in the future maybe I'd like to go to Bangladesh and also do something because I've... You mentioned about charity work. What would you like to do? Yes, charity? because what, what better place to help than Bangladesh if that's where we come from? So, in the future maybe I'd like to go there and do some kind of first aid there as well. Do you want to Bangladesh? Yes. Do you want to Bangladesh? Yes. Do you want to go to Bangladesh? Yes. Do you want to go to Bangladesh? Bangladesh. So, Bangladesh, you have a friend in Bangladesh? Yes, I have a friend. 
আসলে আমি তো বাংলাদেশে কোনো বিদ্যালয় তো পড়িনি একটু সেই কারণে আমার বাংলাদেশে কোনো এটা খুব সুন্দর বলছ বিদ্যালয় তুমি শুধু বাংলা খুব সুন্দর নাম তাই না স্কুলের নাম বিদ্যালয় হ্যাঁ এইজন্য আমার ওরকম আমার বয়সে তেমন বন্ধু নাই কিন্তু আমার পরিবার তো আছে এইজন্য বাংলাদেশে যেতে আমার অনেক ভালো লাগে ভেরি গুড হোয়াট अबाउट গোইং টু বাংলাদেশ डिफरेंट প্লেস লাইক সুন্দরবন কক্সেস বাজার জি ওই জায়গাগুলো এখনো ঘোরা হয়নি কারণ আমি বাংলাদেশে আসলে বেশি দিন থাকা হয়নি এক মাস এক মাস এক মাস করে থাকা হয়েছে ওইভাবে যাওয়া হয়নি আর বিয়ের কারণে গিয়েছিলাম তো সেজন্য ওখানে কক্সেস বাজার যাওয়া হয়নি কিন্তু আগামীতে যাওয়ার ইচ্ছা আছে ভেরি গুড নিশাত আমি জানি তুমি নিশাত তোমার কাছে যাব আমি একটা কল নিয়ে আসি ঠিক আছে আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমাদের মনে লাইনটা আমরা হারিয়ে ফেলেছি নিশাত লাইন তো তুমি তো খুব সুন্দর বাংলা বলতে পারো বাংলা তুমি গান করো ইংলিশ তো বলবই এই বিদেশের কথা তো বাংলাদেশে লাস্ট কখন গিয়েছিলে লাস্ট আমি গিয়েছিলাম 2012 এ আমি এইজেনের সাথে গিয়েছিলাম ফরগটেন নিউজ প্রোগ্রাম রিয়েলিটি টেলিভিশন শোতে আমি ফ্যান্টাস্টিক আমি আই ওয়াজ আ কন্টেস্ট্যান্ট देयर এন্ড এটিএন ওয়াজ দা মিডিয়া পার্টনার এটিএন ওয়াজ দা মিডিয়া পার্টনার ইয়া রাইট টেল আস লিটল বিট अबाउट ফরগটেন রোড ফরগটেন রোড সো ওয়াও ইট ওয়াজ আ ডেফিনেটলি ওয়ান্স ইন আ লাইফ টাইম এক্সপেরিয়েন্স um we watched the show anyway yeah we uh, quite a lot of people tuned into it actually but um, i was i was really really happy with the way the the uh, the 16 days went when i was in bangladesh just on the final it was a bit of a mix up here and there but the general experience as a whole was very good because i did loads of things that i never thought i would i would do in bangladesh like living in Ma- mati growth like uh, you know doing loads of these activities that you wouldn't get the chance to do as someone from um, from England so I literally went to the grassroots level so that mm-hmm. itself was an experience and I definitely say if anyone goes to Bangladesh to witness that kind of first hand experience and and just see what it's like it was our on their purbo purusha lifestyle ta that's very good so what would you like to do in the future well that's a million dollar question for me because uh, there's quite a few things that I did like um in terms of academia Once I finish my degree inshallah um I want to go into I want to do a straight masters straight after that's my plan anyway straight after degree go do a, a year's masters and um like before I started my degree because obviously every, everyone in my age is in third year but I did a year's internship working in finance mm-hmm. so I worked in the city in bank actually uh, mm-hmm. working doing FX for an exchange broking that was definitely something um that kind of financial um sector I want to go into but with computer science so you can look at security systems Hello. online uh, platforms programming uh, I, if not just going into software development and stuff like that so uh, Hello that on that we'll take a call <laughs> assalam alaikum amne kotha bolun amra shunchi hello hello am propar sathe kotha bolte chai propar shunte chhe please go ahead with your comments hello propa hello ami naam bolbo na dekhi tumi amake chinte paro na ki Uh can you guess who is the difficult one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong. Okay, no problem. Uh, you can think about it, but I'm janta na tumi eto bhalo guitar bajao. Your thanks. song was awesome. And asha kori tumi bhalo acho. Ji, ami bhalo achi. Tumi kemon acho? I'm bhalo achi. I hope you can guess after this call. She is thinking. She is thinking. Thank you very much for your call. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. fantastic ifat uh what would you like to do in the future wow well, that's very i feel really put on the spot because i'm not 100% sure okay um but i'm studying um politics drama and english literature at the moment at um at sixth form so um i definitely want to go to university but i'm not 100% sure about what i want to study but i've been thinking about law Okay. Um yeah, but um my main focus at the moment is my G, uh, my G, uh, my GCSEs. A levels. A levels, yeah. That's my main focus at the moment. Because you finish GCSE in the <laughs> yeah. levels. That's good. On that we'll take a call now. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Yes, please. Abi kya bolchen? Hi. Hi mama, this is Suhana. Ah, uh, Suhana. Suhana, nice to hear from you. How are Sa- you, Suhana? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um how are you guys? Well go on. Shohana is talking to you. We're all fine thank Very you. Well. Very well. Oh, that's excellent. I never get a chance to watch this show because I'm always at work. Always you're busy. So I just well. want to say I that <laughs> I'm really enjoying the But program. Thank you very Hi, much Shohana for watching our program. Hello. Hi everybody else. What would you like to say to these Hi. young students, on. British Bangladeshi students? They are talking about we're talking about festivals. 
religions, community cohesion and their aspirations as well in life. So what would you like to say to these young guests? Um, I think one thing that um, proper uh, you guys were talking about is how they, it doesn't matter whether we're British Bangladeshi or um, Indonesian Bangladeshi or African Bangladeshi, the, uh, sorry, uh, British, <coughs> Asian British or whatever, that when we are here, yeah, we, we should enjoy the culture like fish and chips and Christmas. It doesn't mean that we need to go to church. We can still... Absolutely. Yes, I do agree. So, Sorry, Shohana, we just lost you. We request you to call again. We would like to hear from you, Shohana. And thank you very much for your fantastic phone call. As we are talking about the British values, festivals, at the same time we are asking our guests to talk about their uh, way of thinking and their education, their personal sort of aspiration in life. So please, Shohana, make a phone call. Ifat, I'll go to you again. I mean, Jani, you, you do perform as well as like uh, Prapa and uh, Nishat. So you do drama as well as singing. So it would be good actually, would like to hear any performance, any kind of drama, any dialogues, anything like this? Um, well, I got something ready just in case. Um, a drama piece? If that's yes, okay. please. Of you. Um, so this when is you're actually, ready, yes. Should I explain a bit about Yes, it? go on. Um, yeah. So um, it's from Richard III, um, it's a play by Shakespeare. It's not. It's not one of his iconic plays, but it's a play that has been um, on stage for a long time and actually David Tennant um, was in a recent production of it in the Barbican Theatre. So um, yeah, it's a historical play and I'm going to be playing the part right now of Lady Anne who at, in, in this certain scene she's very frustrated because she's just realised that she's, she was, she's been manipulated and used by her current husband Richard III. He used her to get to the throne and she just had not the epiphany now about um, how horrible he actually is. So she's really angry in this scene. Okay. So I'll just when you are ready, you start. Sure. Okay. And I, in all unwillingness, will go. I would to God that the inclusive verge of golden metal that must round my brow were red hot steel to sear me through the brains. Anointed let me be with the deadly venom, and die ere men can say, God save the Queen. When he, that is my husband now, came to me as I followed Henry in his corpse, with scarce the blood was well washed from his hands which issued from my other angel husband. Oh, when I say I looked on Richard's face, this was my wish. <clears throat> Be thou, quoth I, accursed for making me so young, so old a widow, and be thy wife. If any be so mad, more miserable by the life of thee as thou hast made me by my dear Lord's death. That's very good. I know this is another stage. But we really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good. Yes, Very good. Thank you. Okay. And it's quite hard to do it in this kind of situation yeah. when people are Absolutely. kind of staring at you. <laughs> Absolutely. This is very, very good. Nishat. You have a guitar? Yeah. I know, is, as you said, festive seasons. We're talking about festivals, community cohesion, and we'd like to hear from you. Your any performance, whether it's Bengali or English, I know you can do it in Bengali and English as well. Mm. Yeah. Um, how would you like me to do it? Do you want to start off? What I'm going to do is, obviously, because I've got two things I, I had planned, so I'm going to just cut it short and do one of each. One Can I just say, say to the audience something? Shukru yeah. Doshak, I'm going to talk about a topic, festivals, religions and community cohesion, and British value. I'm going to talk about young students, and I'm going to encourage you to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, and 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 I'm going to talk about it. Assalamu alaikum, Shubha Shanda. Hello. May I know who am I speaking to? Hello. Oh, hello. Yes, please. Hi. Uh, hi, Mama. My phone like oh, yeah. cut off. It's <laughs> Shuhana, <laughs> yes, please. We'd like to hear from you. Please. I'm kind of glad it got cut off because now I, I've just watched um, the drama piece. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, that was excellent. I think we have a Hollywood star in the making. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Very encouraging, very encouraging comments. So what would you like yeah, to say about the British values yeah. and community cohesion? 
Um, yeah, what I was saying was before I got cut off was, yes, it doesn't matter um, what our cultural background is, etc. That whilst we live in uh, Great Britain, we should enjoy um, get involved in, you know, celebrating um, this festive season. It doesn't mean that, you know, we need to go to church, etc. You know, follow our values, but still enjoy everything. You know, because if we were in a different country, as, as one of your guests said, that when he was in Holland, you know, he had to pretend he was ill to take a day off on Eid. In this country, we have the privilege is of having, Absolutely. you know, the chance to take days off for different religious celebrations and stuff. So, yeah, I, I love this time of year. I mean, look, now I'm able to stay at home and watch your show. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do that. But um, fantastic program, and um, I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, Shohana, we really appreciate that. And thank you very much for very encouraging comments from you. Thank you. Uh, Nishat. Well, first song, I'm, I'm just Ghanai Mukta Gabo. It's uh, basically for, because obviously we are in the, uh, December month, so Shulur December, the 44th uh, anniversary of Bangladesh Victory Day. So on that, I'd like to just dedicate a song for, any, for all the martyrs that laid down their life for our country. Mm-hmm. Next up, I'm going to do um, a cover of one of my favorite songs at the moment. Uh, Please. It's up on my YouTube page as well, but I'll just I'll do it. Wow. Lele Aben, I've been losing sleep Dreaming about the things that we could be But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be, we'll be counting stars See this life like a swinging vine Swing my heart across the line In my face is flashing sign Sing it out, now you shall find old But I'm not that old, young But I'm not that bold I don't think the world is sold I'm just doing what we're told And I feel something so wrong Doing the right thing And I
Allah. Thank you. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes, uh, I'd like to know the relevance of the song that he's singing or he just sang. Well, I can ask him actually if you like the relevance. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'd love to find that the, out. The, the first one or the second one? The second one, maybe, or the first one. If I can just ask the viewer, was it the first song or the second song that uh, well, I think uh, I think maybe. Uh, inter- I'll, I'll explain both of them anyway. The first one, the relevance of the first song is for the martyrs of uh, Bangladesh uh, Victory Day. So obviously we knew that we went this month of liberation. Bangladesh liberation, yeah, is, that's is, right. uh, is This month was uh, our 44th uh, anniversary yeah. of, of Bangladesh uh, liberation victory. Yes. Uh, so obviously we um, gained our independence on the 26th of March 1971. And we went through like a, a very bloody liberation period yeah. for nine months. Uh, thousands of people, uh, loads of people were killed, loads of innocent people were mm-hmm. killed, um, and we managed to gain uh, independence mm-hmm. uh, from East Pakistan to Bangladesh. That was the relevance of the first, the first song. one. And the second song was just um, it was just a popular song at the mo- at that moment, which is currently on my YouTube channel as well. So I just sing um, you know loads of loads of different songs. It's like a favorite song of mine as well. That's good. Yeah? Thank you very much. Shukr Dashak program ei porje amader ta chutto birote jete hobe birotir por abar dekha hocche amader sathei thakbe Shukr Dashak birotir por abar education amare amra kotha bolchi amader asker topic festivals religions and community cohesion ebong pasapashi amra british values diye kotha bolchi amar sathe char jon guest young guest ebong eder aspiration future ebong some comments from them as well amra shuntesi proper rajwan anwar ifa choudhry farib rashid and nishat mansur said nishat mansur Farib Rashid, I'll go to you. Quite serious question I'm going to ask you. Okay, I know we are having fun at the same time festive season, but some serious questions about festivals, about religions, about community cohesion and British values. So this time, six major religions in this country, there are many, many other small religions, people with belief, people without belief, atheist, okay, humanists, we live side by side in this country. This country is a multicultural society and we respect each other, we know that. Now, there are Always, all of us, we have got a common goal. Like we want to see the world to be a better place, okay? No war, okay? Yeah. And, and the poverty, as well as we want to see everybody live in harmony. Now, my question to you, do you think we should promote positive community cohesion in our community? Is it, is it important? Uh, yeah, of course. How would how we do that? Um, well, I think uh, everyone should have good ethics and morals. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, cooperate with each other mm-hmm. and respect each other so um, you could have a better... And any example yeah. you can give? Um, for example, just uh, um, have like, um, <coughs> for example, I live in Newham and they have like this uh, community service and uh, people just volunteer, like they get any job and they can just volunteer like uh, anywhere, and literally they get, they, get, they, get, they get given any job. So it doesn't matter whether it's a Muslim or no, is no, it doesn't Hindu no, or doesn't Christians, or yes. Yeah, so for example like that, you can just uh, contribute to the community and help them out and just make it make your brother better 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 good ifa how can you promote the community good community cohesion like as you mentioned about all of us our main goal in this country to live in harmony a peaceful life and do the best for each other i think we need to the best of our ability play our part in the community so, like personally, what I'm doing at the moment, I've um, I've actually joined this thing back in Camden where I go to school. It's um it's this project called Envision, and it's like a, a you pick you pick a weakness of your community. So perhaps some people might pick homelessness, um, you know, um, crime, and we picked the isolation of the elderly because we thought that was an issue that was overlooked. So we're just, we're planning this big event for the elderly to come and like mingle with each other. We're going to invite people in the community to meet them and we're going to play like loads of games, competitions and stuff just to, just to um, make, help them feel that they, they're not overlooked in, in, in like their community and stuff. So just small things like that, I think really um, just highlight what the community means to you. And Excellent. Like yeah. Excellent. Nisha. Same question to you before that. I was listening to the radio the other day. Four million people in this country, out of the 60, 65 million people, mm-hmm. will be spending their Christmas day alone without having no one. Yeah. Four million people. That's a lot. Yeah. So a lot what do you think? About I mean, I, I was, I was uh, seeing uh, on the news the other day, I saw like a, a local pub in, I can't remember exactly what bar it was. I think it mm-hmm. might have been in Hackney. I, I'm, not, not, I'm not 100% sure. But it was quite a, it's quite a good incentive. They basically fed people Christmas dinner for free so right. they wrote outside on the signboard um, everyone 
who's either homeless or financially unstable or just passes by anyone they were welcome to have a free christmas christmas meal so stuff like that you know it really really brings the community together right. and what i think personally as well depending on how driven you are there's so many different things you can do that you got people that actually go out to certain countries and do charity work hands on you got people that work behind well, the scenes that finance charity and whatnot but I think you, every single person can do something. Every small thing goes a long way, even if it's just a friendly greeting. For example, you've got your neighbour who's celebrating Christmas. You might not be celebrating Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Hope, hope your celebrations go well. I mean, for me, definitely, if a non-Muslim was to turn around and say to me, uh, when it's Eid day, you know, oh, happy Eid. Hope you have a great day. Mm. That goes a long way for me. Like, for that, I take that and I, that, that sticks in my head. If anything, it sticks in my head more than someone who is Muslim that says, oh, Eid Mubarak to me. You know, everyone's saying Eid Mubarak to me. Mm-hmm. Someone that's not, not Muslim go, goes out of their way, they don't have to say it. But, you know, that kind of stuff, I think, goes a very, very long way. And that, and that builds up sort of positive community cohesion it's, it's within the community. It's a very, very positive thing. It's just, it, it could just be something very, very small in hindsight. But in the bigger picture, it, it's su- such a big thing. For, it's such an acceptance and a tolerance of everyone as well. Everyone just kind of... Mm. You know, yes, it's more. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. We'll take a call on that one. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, calling from Birmingham. Please. Go ahead with your comments. Any comments? Or would you like to ask a question to the panel? On, um, living in Birmingham, I want to make some comments on Trojan Horse and British Valleys and how yes. uh, British Muslims Please. are um, being attacked by the media in, in UK. Um, right. I wanted to make a first comment about Trojan Horse, which is full of rubbish because um, they well, can I, can, I just, um, can I just stop you, brother, here? Because I'm not discussing, I just quoted whatever uh, I found in the media or the Prime Minister even, Ofsted mentioned that I'm just taking from there. So I don't want to make a personal comment there or um, obviously you know about this. And it's from Ofsted, it's from the Department of Education, so whatever I mentioned there. But thank you very much for your comment. Uh, proper. I will go to you now. I know <coughs> you are a performer, you did one, so now we'd like to hear. I just mentioned, can I just say sorry, um, yes. about the, how they were giving the f- free, was it Christmas dinner? Christmas dinner, yeah. yeah. So recently I've been involved in this thing where in my school we have a, like a box perform and it's like a food bank donation. So you can give non-perishable foods in the box and it goes to some big food bank um, charity. So they said that they wanted to feed how many thousand people this Christmas? So it's a similar kind of idea really. And I think it's a really good way of getting people together. Absolutely, fantastic. So this is, you know, that's why the society is like that, you know, and we have to live side by side, whether you are Muslim, non-Muslim, atheist or humanist. And this, this, these theories have actually been coming from a really long time. Like now we're saying we should be tolerant of people, but right. it's actually been coming from before, from centuries yes. before, actually. For yeah. example, um, Rabindranath Thakur, he had similar <coughs> concepts to what we're thinking about today. like. I can't remember the exact words. I think it was something like um, I think something yes, like that, that's right. which means that we should kind of take each other's ideas and learn right. from them. So it's on that note, I'll take a call and you get ready to have a good performance. Assalamu alaikum, Shiva Shanda. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello, please go ahead with your comments or would you like to oh. say anything to, to, to our guests? So, hello? I think, um, yeah, um, I've been watching the show and I think it's a great uh, program that uh, Thank you. children are contributing so well and at the understanding of uh, the whole panel of the British value and the, the tolerance of this country mm-hmm. and how this country accepting the different people with the different values. I think the children, the, the young people, I always call them children, the young people on your panel are doing a great job and they're very aware. It makes me proud that how our children really understand the, the actual soci- what the actual society's value, norms and values are. Uh, so congratulations to the, to the panel and I, I, I feel really proud of them. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you very much for bringing that show. Thank, thank you very you. much for your thank fantastic you. comment and encouraging call. Thank you very much. Prabha, you ready? Yes. Okay. Now, what would you like to perform for us? Uh, since it, the 16th of December has recently passed, yeah. so I think it will be appropriate to sing a kind of deshagam. Off you go. Amar <coughs> desh <coughs> 
সব মানুষের সব মানুষের সব মানুষের ছোটদের বড়দের সকলের ছোটদের বড়দের সকলের গরিবের নিশের ফকিরের আমার দে সব মানুষের সব মানুষের সব মানুষের নাই ভেদা ভেদ ভেথা চাষায়র চামার নাই ভেদা ভেদ ভেথা কুলি আর কামারে নাই ভেদা ভেদ ভেথা চাষায়র চামার নাই ভেদা ভেদ ভেথা কুলি আর কামারে হিন্দু মুসলিম বৌদ্ধ খ্রিস্টান হিন্দু মুসলিম বৌদ্ধ খ্রিস্টান দেশ মাতা এক সকলের well done papa well done i was really enjoying and i was just thinking going back it's like feeling like going back to bangladesh <laughs> no, that's you. very good nishat we are coming nearly towards the end of the program maybe another 10 minutes to go so this society there are young children like you maybe some of them are much younger than you as well as some of them maybe studying at the university like like you and you as well so what would be your comments or encouragement to those students they are bringing up themselves in this country mm -hmm. and doing all the great things what would you like to say to them i think the best thing um i could say uh, or anyone can say not just me but um is having an open mind it gets you many places it gets you uh, it also makes you understand people a lot better rather than um, you know just being a bit narrow minded and thinking that you know you're always open to possibilities so that's a very very important thing um the biggest mistake you can make is thinking that um that there's not more to learn that there's yeah. not more to find out about people yeah there's always more you can find out not just about people but yourself as well so um it's really really important to have an open mind in anything that you do not just in studying Absolutely. in in just general life as well and that make you learn those that's great if at i know you already perform a uh, part of your drama mm -hmm. i know you sing uh, you sing as well at the same time <coughs> i know this is not a stage and you don't have any guitar or anything like this. i know you play with the uh keyboard but is a festive season anything about festive season you can i know you say christmas or anything like this you would you like to do um well i did a, a um my christmas concert that i did like 2 years ago i right. could do the song from there that i did hallelujah okay go on then uh, i'll just do a bit from there um okay. i won't do it without music if that's okay okay that's fine okay <laughs> <laughs> i can play it okay. <laughs> <laughs> um so like when you're ready yeah. you can start I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do ya Well it goes like this the bow of the fifth the minor fall and the major lift the baffle king composing hallelujah 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 The faith was strong but you needed proof you saw her bathing on the roof her beauty and the moonlight over through ya She tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew the hallelujah. 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 we come to the end of the program farib what would be your comments to 
the viewers, the students, they are watching and we had some phone calls uh, to young students like you. Mm -hmm. uh, any, 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 any comment you would like to make about what we talked about today, about festivals, religions, community cohesion? Uh, for like students, say? Uh, I would say, um, if you're a student, uh, I would say like, live your life without any regrets. So always be like opportunistic and optimistic as well. Even when things go wrong, just like look forward to the future. Whatever like whatever's behind you, just leave it, just go forward. Okay. And uh, for the show, uh, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here, so thank you for that. And I think uh, it's a good panel as well, and I enjoyed okay. the show. We'll take a, on that note, we'll take a quick call, and I'll go to Papa, and quickly we'll finish off our program, your few lines of songs, maybe. Sure. But before that, we'll take a call. Assalamu alaikum, Shubha Shunda. Hello. Hello. Go ahead with any comments. Hello. I, uh, I just wanted to ask, you know the girl in red? Well, yes, please. Ifa Chowdhury, yes. Uh, yes. Is she your daughter? Well, uh, do you know Ifat? Is she your daughter by any chance? Well, I'm asking, do you know her? <laughs> yeah, I'm asking Wh you. Who am, I, who am I speaking to, first of all? Hello? Sorry. Okay, now, I'll go to Prabha. <laughs> <Yeah>. First. <laughs> now, we're going to end the program soon. Yes. Can I just... Today we talked about festivals, festive seasons, religions, community yes. cohesion, and British values. So what will be your comments to young students like you? How we can promote or how, what would you do to encourage them? How we can promote these British values or we can promote a good community cohesion? Well, I think that um, the local councils and people are taking really good initiatives, you know, to get people together. But since I'm quite obsessed with music and I've found that music and culture, like, it really helps you to un understand some some of the way that other people think so um, for example in my school we have this um, music international night every year so that promotes culture and we learn about it and then when we learn about another culture's songs we also learn about their language and how they live their lives so i think it's important that we should have more events where we can share our culture to other people like for example right now we're, t we're telling lots of people about our culture so I think it's important to have these kinds of events or opportunities where we can share our culture because if we don't have the opportunities then how are people going to know? Excellent, excellent. That's very good. Ifat, what would you like to say at the end? I would like to say that... Mainly um, for towards, uh, those students yeah. or parents that are watching the program. Well, I think nothing is too small, like, um, like you said. Um, you could, it's, it, every, everything is accounted for. You don't have to like, organize these okay. big social yeah. events. Like, you just speaking to your neighbor, having a conversation with, you know, with the person or just you know, acknowledging them, it's, it just goes a long way. That's so I think cool. like, um, as a community, we should ca carry on doing this. Like, we, we, we have to stop overlooking people in society. You can't be in your own bubble because you're That's part of good. a big thing. Okay. So we just have to carry on. Thank you, Prapa. Thank you very yes, much for thank coming. You. Thank you, Ifat. Thank, thank you, Fadip. But Amra Nishat and Gan Shushan be there anymore. I be there any, I put Nishat to Margan and Madura be there anymore. Shubhu the Shok. Amra Kotavala Maskia Mother asked a topic, chill festivals, religions, community cohesion, and Pasha Pashi British values. A mother age charge of Otti Shundor, Mother Bokta Bodilo, Pasha Pashitara, a mother cake to fun activities, singing as well as some we enjoyed the drama as well. तो अमरा विदाई नहीं हुआ पंद्रह कस्ते फोरू करो जनों दोनों बाद अगर प्रोग्राम तक आऊँ तो जनों अब तक कस्ते विदाई नहीं ची निशान तेरे गाने गाने। I'm gonna close it uh, doing a Robin the Shangi. Please. आनंदो धारा वो ही चे भुवने आनंदो धारा वो ही चे भुवने दिन और जोनी कतो अमृत रस उथुलि जायो अनंत गगने आनंद धारा ओही छे भुवने आनंद धारा ओही छे भुवने पान करे रो विशोषी अंजलि भरिया शोधा दीप तो रहे अखयो ज्योति नीतो पूर्ण धरा जीवने के रोने आनंद धारा वो 
देखी भुवन आनंद धारा कही भुवने